We still find there. Please listen up, please. Mr. Pradeh, uh, which state are you from? UP. Oh, right. So, why do you wish to join civil service? <coughs> Sir, uh, the job diversity is very promising in civil services. I have worked as a software engineer. I didn't find my job uh, very wide. It was uh, narrow in domain. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that civil services yes. offers a lot of diversity in job. It also has social recognition and career prospect is very high. Quite. So to have a stable and satisfactory career. <coughs> and what qualities do you possess which will make you a good civil servant? Sir, I am very dedicated to public in public service, sir. I I want to do something good for the citizens. Mm -hmm. I have analytical capability, problem yeah. solving approach. Yeah. And I have empathy to to understand the suffering of people's their problems. Yes. What they face, what they expect from the government, and how much government is important for those disadvantaged and underprivileged. So right, right, right. So, where were you working before? Sir, I was working in Canon Design Systems, Noida, as a software engineer. Sir. In which one? Sir, Canon Design Systems. I yes. see. Is it a foreign company? Yes, sir. I see. Yes, sir. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not it given is. in this. Uh, yeah, this form is slightly incomplete. Yeah. Yeah. So, what work were you doing? Sir, as a software engineer, my job was to <coughs> translate the problems faced by my customers, as said by the product engineer, into algorithms and softwares. So, that was basically designing the software. So, is this your first attempt at this service? No, sir. Hmm. It's my fifth attempt. Fifth attempt. Yes, uh, is this your first interview or third interview? Uh, business, you are from UP. If I were to ask you, what would be the main lessons from the successful organization of the Kumbhela? What would be your response? Sir, my first impression is that if the government had political will, anything, any large scale of organization can happen successfully, sir. So I think the government has political will in this, government has interest in this, so that was successful. Second thing is, sir, government invested high amount of its budgetary resources in this successfully. So any good project requires economic resources, sir. Mm -hmm. There is a trade-off whether to that economic resources have to do that thing or some other purpose, sir. So, and the third is, sir, if some event <coughs> is being publicized at a world level, the, all the leaders of the country, all the who's, who's important personalities of the country are attending this event. So the popularity gives a pressure on the government that it has to perform its best because it is being showcased at the India level, at the world level. Good. Uh, today is a BG day for the Supreme Court. There are a number of important cases which are being heard. Are you aware of? Uh, I am aware of one most important the uh, case on Article Thirty Five A, sir. And um, is that being heard today? I I didn't uh, read anywhere. I think it was listed for the last week of February, sir. So it is probably today. But there is something of uh, monumental significance for UP and the rest of the country. Yes, sir. I think you are referring to the Ayodhya yes. case. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. It is. And uh, one more also, the review petition on Rafael. That also will be heard today. So these are some of the. Uh, what do you know about the National War Memorial? It was inaugurated yesterday. It, uh, this war memorial. Is a memorial to dedicate for the memories of our soldiers who have been martyred since mm -hmm. independence. Yeah. It signifies that we value their contributions to the nation, sir. And it also instills feeling of patriotism and respect to our yeah. armed forces. Would you like to share some details? The cost, the total area, and how many 
soldiers have been remembered through this, particularly how many Paramir Chakra winners. Sorry for the mm -hmm. I have very little, little, like 27,000 soldiers are being memorated. So. Uh, little less than 26, 25,942 to be precise. Their names are being etched in stone. And how many PVC winners? Their busts are being erected there. Sorry, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay, 23 of them. And the cost is 176 crores. It's spread over 40 acres. Where, where is it located? Sir, it is located at uh, India Gates, the C complex of India Gates. Okay. Uh, do you have any hobby, any extracurricular activities other than studies? Yes, sir. I read non fiction books, sir. And I also have a hobby of teaching, sir. Non fiction books? Yes, sir. Like uh, what genre? Sir, on India related, sir. Economy of India. Other problems, issues, and development aspects of India. Okay. What are the economic challenges, macroeconomic challenges that India is confronted with currently? So the most important challenges are that <coughs> sir, there is a structural problem in India's growth story, sir. We are still focusing on agriculture and the migration for agriculture to non farming sectors industry sectors is and manufacturing is not uh, not happening at all desired rate sir okay so, and the employment sir we have jobs just okay. you know, crisis kind of situation. anything else sir we also have potential to cross the figure of 10 percent per per annum gdp growth rate sir we still haven't yet crossed that barrier sir so Sir, we are anything on the fiscal front? Yes, sir. So the our fiscal consolidation targets has been uh, has hasn't been achieved as yet, sir. We are, we still have three point four percent of uh, deficit. What finance. was the fiscal deficit target, sir? It was um, to achieve three percent till two thousand twenty, sir. Okay, we have shifted that part, sir. Okay. Thank you. You are from UP. So we hear about this uh, bang on cow slaughter. Yes. What are your views? How is it impacting society and the farmers? Well, bang on cow slaughter mm -hmm. is affecting farming sector in many ways. Mm -hmm. so most important is that there are no <coughs> the terminal cows are not being disposed of. What do you mean by terminal cows? What is it? No ma'am, those who are not giving milk, milk, milk produce, yes. okay. so uh, what is happening that people are just leaving their livestock out and they are disrupting farming activity, yes. crop loss is very So why is that? They are destroying the crops, yes, what else? Ma'am, second issue is that Your mama used to dispose of the cattle and get some money out of yes, it Mm -hmm. So, so they are uh, in the second major yes, problem. Sir. And okay. thirdly, ma'am, uh, the the farmer who wants to keep these livestock, they do not have enough fodder to make them eat, and that is affecting their normal eating habits. Yes. So this what is affecting. Anything else? What about the beef trade? I think mean, uh, beef export was economically profitable for the. Farmers for the traders who, who used to sell their cows, yes. but uh, that is not also happening. So it is affecting and the leather industry. Yes, ma'am. It's yeah. affecting the pantries also. Yes, ma'am. And now boshalas are going to be made, which means so much of money is being spent. Spending they are spending money on the cow protection, whereas that money could have been used better yes, for feeding people who are hungry. So it is affecting lots of people. Now you also studied geography and there is a project known as linking of rivers. Have you, are you aware about this project? Yes. First tell me what this project is. Yeah. India is in this with rivers mm -hmm. but there is spatial and temporal flow mm -hmm. uh, in variation in the flow of the rivers. We have peninsular rivers who are deficient in rainfall um, during 
um, during January and February season, and we yeah. have um, Gangetic rivers who, who are being fed by melting up yeah. <coughs> snow. So, ma'am, um, this project, the interlinking of river, aims to transfer from the oversupplied rivers to the deficit rivers so that whole of India gets sufficient amount of water. What are your views on this? Ma'am, my view is that if we have to take the interlinking of rivers, mm -hmm. it has to be done on the small scale. We cannot defy the geographical, geological logics and the terrains. Mm -hmm. It will be very high costly, it will have ecological cost. What, what ecological factors will be affected? Ma'am, um, the interlinking of rivers has to happen through terrains which involves wildlife resources, yes. natural parks, mm -hmm. and it also affects the flow of water, the ecological waters like Gangetic Delson is in Gangetic Plains. If the river is diverted to peninsular river, the ecology of the river beds will be affected. Yes. Now, uh, uh, again related to geography, how will a knowledge of geography help you in administration? Well, geography teaches me many aspects. Mention 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different areas. In the physical geography, I understand the Agriculture aspects. Yes, agriculture, so you would be able to give some advice regarding agriculture. Yes, In the economy, I will understand how different type, different sectors of economy, agriculture and industry are made. I will be better able to understand the climate change aspect, how it is impact, impacting local farmers. The resources. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. yes, ma okay. Then geography will also teach me some concept of human geography. Like, what is human geography? And human geography, that portion of geography which interlinks the human and the physical, both aspects. Do you also study tribals? Yes, ma'am. So, are there any uh, provisions for protection of tribals? Yes, ma'am. What are these? Yeah. Our constitution has two important schedules the fifth schedule and the sixth schedule, which gives various rights to the local bodies of tribals. So they, they get autonomy from our constitution and their rights are respected. Even the article 19.5 which has, which secures the right of scheduled tribes from um, other citizens. So I think constitution. So does UP have any tribes? Yes ma'am. Name some? Which are the tribes? Any idea? No, I am not able to recall. What? Scheduled okay. tribes? No, the name is the name of the Okay, fine, thank you. Thank you so much there. Oops and service tax. Is it to be a revolutionary change? What kind of change it will bring to the country? Yes, sir, I consider it is a revolutionary change. Just explain some of the advantages that the GST has got. Sir? It has ended the cascading of taxes. Every commodity has now a chain of taxes and input tax credit is gets transferred to first taxpayer. So, okay. so the whole chain is now interlinked and there is increased transparency. If one chain is missing, it will affect revenue. But that that's one thing. Uh, any other advantages it has brought in? Sir, it has indebted the discriminatory rates of taxes across the country. Uniformity. So, yes, sir. uniformity of taxes. Also, it has brought down the level of taxes, right? Yes. Uh, there is, it is still an ongoing exercise, right? There are still certain issues which are yet to be resolved. Can you mention two or three such issues? Sir, the export pay, duty payback, sir. The exporters who are not getting paid back their duties which were earlier quite faster. Okay. Anything more important? Sir, the filing of GST returns by small businesses is difficult. They have not yet understood everything. So they are facing difficulty in filing. Mm -hmm. E-filing. Yes sir. E-way, e way bill. Yes. But that has been by and large sorted out. Anything else? Certain commodities are still just kept out of the, the loop of GST. That's a major issue. Yes, and uh, uh, there was a meeting of the GST Council very recently. So they took up certain issues. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. On the day before yesterday. Yes, sir. 
about one one issue I remember is that they have reduced the taxation on housing real estate housing sector sir, to five percent and one percent are affordable housing, and they do not get any input tax credit, but they have just to pay five percent. Yes, that. this particular provision that they will not get any input tax credit. Will it really help the real estate sector? If you don't get the input tax credit, then where the advantage goes? So the taxation rate is lower. If, if the input tax credit has to be integrated, then the taxation rate has to be higher. Otherwise, it will affect the revenue of the government. Yeah, so now it will be tax neutral. Yes, that means it will have no impact on the revenue collections. So government has tried to make it a tax neutral. Sir, uh, the overall volume will increase because uh, real estate will get a boost again. Okay. Because the <coughs> some of the people are still agitated on that issue. But that is one thing. Okay. Uh, on the international front, there are a lot of developments taking place right now. Can you list out two or three important uh, developments in the global scene? Uh, with respect to India, or with respect to India, of which India is concerned. So the major issue is that we we had a terror attack on on our armed forces, and the relation between the Pakistan has become quite tense mm -hmm. right now. So <coughs> that's the one major issue India is facing. The second is uh, India's India's objectives like putting putting terror groups on the sanction list is being thwarted by China. So the issue of relations between India and China is also one of the issues, sir. Are you familiar with OIC? Yes, sir. What is it and why is it in the news? Sir, it is organization of small Islamic um, cooperation. It is a very major grouping of countries which have uh, Muslim. Well, how many countries are there in OIC? Sir, around 55, 56 countries. 58. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, India has been invited for the first time and in 40 days and it will give a major boost to India. There is going to be an emergency meeting of OIC. It has been convened for today. We are aware of that. Pakistan is at the behest of Pakistan. <coughs> I think the issue is that Pakistan doesn't want India to enter in the grouping. It will give a big signal to Pakistan that India is also being preferred by their uh, traditional partners because this OIC was being used by Pakistan to have a comment on the right. issue. What is happening in Afghanistan? Yes, no. yes sir. Yes, sir. There is an ongoing dialogue between US and Taliban so that US can withdraw their troops peacefully and have some stability. So the procedure of uh, withdrawing and what will be the future of Afghanistan after the US to withdraw. So that is the situation, sir. It will have major impact on India. But there are certain concerns for of India in the process of negotiation, right? What is it? What is the concern of India? So the main concern is that US is negotiating with Taliban, not with the Afghan government, and India recognizes the Afghan government, and India wants to Afghan own Afghan controlled negotiation. That's the one major impact. Second is sir, India is traditionally against Taliban. It has joined another alliance against Taliban. But India considers Taliban as a terrorist group. So India is hesitating in participating with this talk. So take it, thank you. You are from UP. UP presents some paradoxes. Yes, sir. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. <coughs> Identify two paradoxes, major paradoxes. Sir, it is the most important political state. It has given like nine to ten prime ministers to the in, to the country, but it, it it is still at the bottom of uh, most of the indicators. So the paradox is that very high political capital, but it's still not only political capital. It has yes, sir. Oh, other it, it has economic capital, which you are. Forgetting. Yes, sir. The other point is that, sir. Yes, sir. It is. So it is not politics because of which you. How do you relate politics with human development, sir? Because a state which has so many seats, it has to have its um, human development index has to be related to economic progress. 
resources you are generating or your capable of generating, are you using them for proper utilization? So you should mention the two, not politics as such political. So the other paradox is that it is very rich in resources, like it has a fertile land and a river and very high human population, demographic dividend is very high, but it is still not <coughs> getting its potential, sir. Uh, it's not its economic progress is very low. Yes, slow. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. so what is its growth rate this year, uh, 2017? It's almost at the bottom, 6.4. What is India's uh, expected growth rate this year? Sir, 7.3 to 7.2. 7.2 CSO is yes, estimate. So, what is the reason that so much of fertile land, so much of potential, such huge territory, and still the people are backward and they are living in poverty? How much is the poverty rate in UP? Sir, I think it will be. Above the national average. Sir. What is the national average? Sir, last estimate had 21 to 22 percent. 21.9. Yes, sir. Uh, that yes, is Tendulkar. Yes, sir. UP has 30. Yes, sir. Sir, the main problem with Why the, is this happening? Sir, there are various issues. Yes, I identified two, three, sir. Sir, the, one of the most important issues. Wastage of resources. The obvious issues, yes, sir. Wastage of resources. Yes, sir. Most of it goes in politics, yes, loan sir. waivers and all. Yes, sir. That is what it is. Other is so the, um, the schemes and the program by the government is not reaching to the lower yes, levels. Corruption, 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 inefficient problems. And other is that so people are not voicing their legal concerns. Yes. They are more focused on their identity politics. So the main issue are not getting in political. Good, well done. All right. Now tell me, have you heard of NY? Have you heard of a city called yes, Hanoi sir. or Ho Chi Minh yes. Yes. city? Yes, sir. Where is it? Sir, it is capital of Vietnam, sir. It is not capital. Sir, Hanoi. Hanoi is the capital? Is that? Yes. Sir. Yes. So, why, why it is in uh, news? Sir, um, uh, the premier of North Korea has just um, got a train and it's reaching Hanoi to meet um, President of United States of America. Why is he travelling by train? What seems to be the logic? I mean, no one knows actually, but uh, what seems to be the logic that he taking train and reaching sir, such a long route? Sir, maybe he want to signal that China is my partner and I am coming yes, across exactly, the Yes, exactly, exactly. That is the message he is giving. <coughs> that I am doing it with China's blessing. Yes, Otherwise, sir. he can fly over yes, quickly. Yes. Over the same territory, he can fly over. Yes. Arunachal Pradesh has uh, had very serious problem in the last two days. Yes, sir. Why? Sir, the root cause of the problem is ethnic conflict. There are tribal groups who are already the native of Arunachal What is the trigger? What triggered this uh, protest? The recognition of permanent residency certificate to six. Six. Uh, non uh, already native. Which are not in the uh, permanent list. Yes, sir. Uh, which are not a tribe of. Pradesh, Pradesh. Pradesh. So the locals, the other organizations yes. are fearing that their resources, their job prospects and their other resources will be captured by them. Because they will get now seats uh, in government jobs as well as in uh, educational institutions. You heard of the basic structure concept. <coughs> Name some three most important features of the constitution which can never be altered. Most important, there are several, many yes, which are unimportant, yes, but uh, of the most yes, salient federal features. Federal, federal structure, yes, federal, federal structure is cannot be all right. What else? Parliamentary form of government. All right. Good, good. You are doing well. Go ahead. Independent judiciary. Of judiciary, very, and separation of powers. These are the four. In addition, there are some more, yes, but these are the most salient. Features which can. Our constitution is said to have some rigid features, rigidity. Yes, sir. Can you identify where the rigidity lies? Sir, uh, there are some provisions which 
should have been left to ordinary statutory law making so, only. Sir, uh, I remember a provision like High Court judges cannot be, uh, if a retired High Court judge can only enter by con amendment of the constitution, no, sir. No, so, there are. You are not coming to the point. Yes. Rigidity. Sir, rigidity in case of amendment. Rigidity is an amendment. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you tell me that. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, we require uh, two third majority of the people in both houses and also. Uh, okay, wait, how about the states? Yes, you got it. There is another source of rigidity. What is that? Which is not written in the constitution. Sir, I think this basic is structured up and obviously, yes. obviously. Very good. You are doing very well. Name two important unitary features yes, of our polity. Yes, sir. Which give overwhelming power to parliament. Uh, uh, reservation of bills by government for president and uh, the institution of government itself which is controlled by the central government sir, at the pleasure of president sir. and the second one is that sir, the emergency power sir, the removal of uh, parliament. Good. Emergency power. Also in the three lists parliament has a much bigger say. Yes. Three lists. Yes, there are two issues of UP pending very important issues pending before Supreme Court. What are those? If you are reading newspapers, you should be able to So the first one is the uh, yeah, yeah. Good. What else? Eleven hundred police encounters. Yes, that is also a PIA. Yes, now you are a geography student? Yes, sir. I, uh, this is my last question. <coughs> In climate change, what contribution you can make with your knowledge of geography in a very simple down to earth manner? Simple down to earth sir, steps you can do. Sir, I'll try to calculate my carbon footprint or uh, anyone who I want to control the climate change and I will try to replace various consumption processes which increases the CO2 emission, like, sir. Eating from non veg to vegetarian commodity, which uh, which also improves climate change. Very complicated. You can go for reviving water bodies. Water bodies, you can go for rain harvest. So, for community, that would be and better. You can go for more plantation of trees. You can encourage every villager at least plant 10 trees around your, you know, yes. one viga of land or two viga. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Simple. Down to earth. Why talk of carbon prints and this and that? For which you need a lot of gadgets. <coughs> Alright. Computer engineer? Yes, sir. You are a computer engineer? Yes, what are the latest advances in the field of computer computer, uh, computer science? Sir, latest advances. We are now having fourth industrial revolution incorporating the artificial intelligence, machine to machine communications, of big data mining and deep level. What is the importance of Fourth industrial revolution. Sir, it it has revolutionary potential to transform the traditional feature of industry, sir. How? Tell to a layman. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, most of the process done by the humans can now be done by computers, uh, which will be have more effectiveness, faster. Will it kill jobs in India? Yes, sir. Then, sir. it will more unemployment. Yeah. It will have short term disruption in employment, sir. but we have to reskill our um, workforce so that they can adopt in the new. So what new jobs will be created? Name two, three important jobs. New jobs for which new skills will be required. Sir, uh, we have that we have to create or. What jobs? You tell me. You say traditional jobs get destroyed. Sir, we right? have to uh, increase our the quaternary sector, sir, the research and development, so that we can enhance our... No, you are not meeting my point. On one hand, technology destroys jobs. Yes. Then you say we have to skill our people to new jobs. What are those new jobs which will, which will be required? And questioning we feel would be like this, like the way we are questioning you yes. on your state, UP, yes. because it is your biodata which will be the focus of questioning primarily. UP, geography, computer science, 
and your knowledge of current affairs and your knowledge of constitutional principles and Supreme Court, important Supreme Court challenges. So, this is the way you are doing it. From what we can see, you have been able to answer this very rationally, very logically, and your knowledge seems very good. But, if you want to ask any question, you can ask. Otherwise, we feel you are well equipped to handle this interview. All right. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.